stuff. Makoto? Hey, cheer up. Getting depressed isn't going to help anything, right? Why don't somebody close to you die and then you be like, okay, and then I'll be like, cheer up. Keep the same energy, IOE. <laughs> Sayaka, uh, Sayaka died, and uh, Leon did it, so fuck Leon. It's gone. She's really gone. What do you mean? They're going, yeah, they're going to keep her rotting body there. Come on, Makoto. Uh, it's almost like there was never anything here to begin with. Uh, every, si every sign of Sayaka's existence has disappeared without a trace. It's just like he said. After the class trial, before we took the elevator up, Manakuma told us. Uh -huh. Oh, I almost forgot. Since the trial is over, I'll go ahead and dispose of all corpses. Well, he let it sit there for a minute? Manakuma, you nasty bitch. That's ah, okay. No need to thank me. Just seeing your delighted, smiling face is enough for me. <laughs> After all, nobody wants to look at a rotting corpse every day. That can't be good for your health. <laughs> all right, Manakuma, chill. Yo ho ho! I didn't even have time to mourn Sayaka or Junko's. Oh yeah, I forgot Junko's ass died. She was like, uh, she did she like step on a bear and she got penetrated. Pause. It's a bad joke, a sickening dream, but I have to accept the reality of it. I headed back to the dining hall to meet up with all the others, with all the other people. I let's see if I can remember some of these. Hey, are are you okay, Makoto? You sure took your sweet time. I was just about to go and get you to drag you back here. So, what happened? You, was your room fixed up like he said? <laughs> I imagine it would be pretty hard to sleep with a rotting corpse in your bathroom. Well, I mean, I've slept through worse. Hey. Jesus, that's fucked up, man. Why would you say something like that? My room was spotless. There wasn't anything left. Like, the whole thing never happened. I swear to God, if this is some sort of like simulation or whatever, Sayaka was alive the whole entire time. We're clones. Uh, it must be tough stay, uh, staying there, knowing what happened. Why don't you stay in Sayaka's room? Well, staying there with her scent still hanging in the air, that would just hurt much more. Uh, Makoto, why you being weird, bro? I can still smell her. Plus, I decided that I can't turn away from her death. Makoto, hey, cheer up. Getting depressed isn't going to help anything, right? Why don't somebody close to you die and then you be like, okay, and then I'll be like, cheer up. Keep the same energy, IOE. Uh, whatever. If we all work together, I'm sure we'll find out a, a way out of here. So everyone just try to cheer up and get back on track. It's honestly supposed to make us feel better. Bro, Bianca, I'm, I'm 10 seconds away from just slapping the shit out of you. You already made the trial more difficult than it needed to be. We're already working together, and yet someone was still murdered. Anyone could betray us at any point. Nigga, you didn't work with us at all. You dipped. Now that it's happened once, it's a question of when, not if, the next one uh, takes place. Yeah, because S Sayaka made her first move. I, and I don't like Toko. 80% of the people here I don't like. But if we work together against the mastermind, nobody will have a reason to do something like that. How much food we got? Do we got enough food to be just staying here? Keep telling yourself that I'll be over here in the real world. Like, people are going to kill people because Byakuya acting like real sus. And like, I don't trust him like not to kill somebody. If I'm keeping it a, a fat stack. And what do you mean? The... The mastermind seems to be much more powerful than we've ever suspected. They took over Hope's Peak, which is supposed to be well defended, then modified it to fit its desire. They created Mon Monokuma, which seems to be incredibly advanced. They're providing for our very for our every need, and the cherry on top is the execution we witnessed. Everything has been planned down to the last excruciating detail. This is not the work of the everyday psychopath defying them may be a great of a risk. Well then, what are we supposed to do? Anyone who truly wants to escape will have to follow the rules. In that case, the only option is to deceive those around you and win the game. What? Okay. 
All right. So you just might as well. You just said I'm going to kill somebody. Tie this nigga up. No, what? no, no. What? I, I can't take it. I don't want to live if it means killing someone else to do it. I don't want to kill everyone else. Huh? Low key, the outside world kind of sucks. Let's just stay here and procreate. Any, anyone else know what she, you mean? It's because Leon died because we all voted for him, right? It's no different from us killing him ourselves. But, but so he shouldn't have killed somebody. Honestly, it was either him or us. It was either the killer or us. He fucked up for killing her. Sayaka killed, fucked up for trying to kill Leon, and then he killed her. Honestly, Leon just did. He just pulled the self defense. He he pulled a Kyle Rittenhouse, and uh, unfortunately. Uh, our jury system is not as corrupt as the real world jury system. Uh, if we hadn't voted for him, then we all would have died instead. Uh, isn't that what you wanted? Is it? Is it? So it would seem. Yeah, Chihiro. Up here, trying to play innocent. You voted for him too, Babaka. She's right. Uh, it's, uh, if you heap that kind of blame on yourself, you'll turn right into a full fetch full-fledged masochist okay Chihiro listen you're not to blame not you not Leon not Sayaka the mastermind is responsible for everything that happen guns don't kill people the mastermind kills people we had no choice choice but to vote I can't even imagine what would have happened uh, to us if we refused and in the end it was Monokuma who was ultimately who ultimately killed Leon so don't waste your anger on yourself. Instead, direct it at the mastermind. Okay? I'm fine with doing that as well. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. All right. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon right. the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Prohibited. Oh, and one other thing. What, bro? He he's like a he's like a Nintendo Direct. But there's one more thing. Breath of the Wild too. It was totally obvious before that you were trying to make yourselves feel better and justify what you did. See you, see you, don't see you, see you. That's about how much I can see you, even when you try to hide. Now pay attention and remember this well. The burden of judging others is a heavy one to bear. So be well aware of your actions. Order and stability rely on the sacrifice and responsibility of everyone. Beware these nuts in your mouth. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. It's like seriously, we have bed bed bugs. Yeah. All right, Toka, you gonna need Toko, you gonna need to chill. She give me real uh school shooter energy. Monokuma makes a ton of bear jokes in the game. I can't bear another bear joke. Uh, was he was he saying it's our fault that what happened? That's pretty cool, Don't man. Don't fuck with me. That piece of shit. Who does he think he is? He thinks he's Monokuma, and he's kind of right. He is Monokuma. And so the day drew in close. A tense, maddening day that saw the deaths of three classmates: Sayaka, Junko, and Leon. Uh, but it's just the beginning. Our despair has only just begun. Only just begun. Boy's life of despair. Uh, yeah. Next day, uh, I woke up. Uh, woke up the next day. Monokuma's normal morning announcement. They called us to the gym. Uh, what are we going to do this time? practically frozen with fear, but Monokuma was determined to get us involved in this little game. And with that goal in mind, it, he began. Okay, what? lift your arms up and down. Why are you T-posing? Why are we T-posing? Ladies and gentlemen, why are we T-posing? 
One, two, three, four. Okay, five, six, seven, eight. Fuck. Mouse. Okay. One, two, three, four. Now reach way up and bend way down. Pause. Tighten those muscles. Let's add a little strength, a little speed to those young bodies of yours. Uh, is this morning routine? Oh, we get in front of me. And let's bend the four. I'm going to stop. Ah, doesn't this feel great? Being stuck inside like this? You got to uh, make sure you stay healthy. <laughs> You're the one who's keeping us stuck inside. <laughs> Don't sweat the small stuff. That's my motto. Yeah! Whoa, uh, I sounded pretty cool just now, don't you think? No. Did you fall in love with me? Am I to die for? Am I just to, uh, to die in riding agony for? So why did you call us here? Certainly it wasn't to make us exercise. Just to make you exercise? Just to make you exercise? If you exercise, making you laugh, exercise will make you cry. Now, if you keep doing these exercises, you will uncover the secret to the assassin's fist. Hey, Monokuma, you ain't going to be fisting nothing. Okay. Uh, passed down from the generation, generation, empire of darkness, power can be mm -hmm. yours. It sounds like the kind of junk a middle schooler would come up with. It doesn't matter. Just uh, to get to the point, did you really call? Uh, oh, I'm wrong voice. Duh, just to get to the point, you could call us down here to exercise. Hey, um, of course not. You think I'm the? Uh, you think I have that kind of free time on my hands? Okay, so then, hmm. uh, I'd like to make an announcement. Every time you overcome a class trial here at Hope's Peak, a whole new world, a whole new world, a new fantastic point of view. All right, okay, I'm going to stop. What the heck? A whole new world. You guys? It really stuck if you. It really suck if you had to live here forever with nothing new to stimulate you. Besides. I know how you kids are these days with your ADD, ADHD, ADD, and ADHD. I gotta keep you motivated. Nice. So go on ahead, uh, look around all you want, enjoy the brave new post-trial world to explore. Okay. Monokuma disappeared, leaving us more confused. But a whole new world? Could it be? Is he talking about a way to get outside? I wonder about that. That seems unlucky. Piece of shit! Well, we don't we won't know until we look. Hey. Whatever he whatever he meant it means it seems like we'll have to uh search the school one more time. You hear me? Okay, then let's split up and start I'm, I'm going to stop yelling. I live in an apartment building with other people. All right, turn off auto. Uh when you're done, uh everyone must meet back at the dining hall and we'll share what we found. Huh. We're basically one trick pony, you know that. Got it. More like a staple food source. Now, let's get moving. Okay. All right, yo. What the heck? Hey, Makoto, did you see what's uh, inside the display case? Bad, bad, this is super bad, man. What are you talking about? I didn't notice anything weird in there. Hmm. Sure, to the untrained eye, it's nothing, but there's an awful, bad, terrible trap. Serious? See the stuff lined up in there? Uh, you see the stuff lined up there? Any god could come by any use. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. I've been struck with knowledge. It's an ill omen of total devastation. Let me out of here. All right, chill, homie. All right, so, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my God. Kiyotaki, you scared the shit out of me. Makoto, look. The gates blocking the stairs to the path to the second floor has opened you up. Hear me? It's also the most important double check the areas we already know Without about, just doubt. in case. Aren't I so clever to think of that? I really impressed myself sometimes. You understand? Oh, uh, well, I'll leave the school to you. Okay. These halls. Whoa! Okay. The gate blocking has been open. So, what's up there? What's on the second floor? This is the second floor. Uh, there's some kind of clue here. I'm sure of it. There's got to be something here. Okay. Kind of run fast. Okay. What's this? 
Another classroom. The baby is sleeping. Please be quiet. Is he talking about you, Sakura? I'll let Sakura throttle me. Why not? It's something new. It's Jesus, so much stuff. Alright, staring at TV, whole new world. Staring at camera, struck me and washed by. I'm speed reading. I'm sorry. Alright, what's this? Looks like a laptop. Uh, looks like pretty old covered in the dust. So... It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. It's, it's broken, huh? Too bad. Okay. I can't go online. I can't look at my porn hubs. Oh, dang it. No coins. Okay. Alright. Alright. Okay. Incredibly dusty. Library's been neglect for long enough. Uh, pretty prestigious. Uh, it's been pretty careless. Keep it nice. Noise. Okay. Alright, there's a door right here. There's also like a letter. Self-covered in dust. So what is this? Host Beach Academy? It's buried on a layer of thick dust. It must have been sitting there for a while. Well, let's see what's inside. Shouldn't uh, we shouldn't read other people's mail without their we shouldn't read other people's mail without their permission. Right? Dog. Makoto's lame, bro. Read that mail, okay? Oh, speak Academy of uh, 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 Executive Office. Throughout the years, we have committed to shaping the youth who will one day shape the hope. We have a long and proud history of a th what? of institution of higher learning with full governmental support. Our graduates into society ready to take on a, an active leadership roles in every major jo uh, job field. However, Host Speak Academy uh, must now lower the curtain on this glorious history from the beginning. The decision was not easy to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. But make no mistake, this is not the end of Host Peak. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues uh, forcing the closure have been resolved. That being said, uh, this is the end for now. I would like to personally and sincerely thank everyone for, okay. For now, uh, we are awaiting uh, official government authorization to formally cease operations. Yo, so, Host Peak was, clo was closing down. Huh. Contents of this letter are quite interesting indeed. Seems Host Peak has stopped functioning at the school. But judging by the amount of dust on the letter had collected, seems to have happened recently. If I had to guess, I'd say at least a year old. Really, Sayaka. You can really guess. Or, uh, uh, Kyoko, I'm sorry. My, my, my little sidekick is gone. I need to replace her with a new one. I want to replace her with you. So you're saying Host Peaks closed down at uh, at least a year ago. Most likely, the mastermind took over abandoned school in order to put this little performance, but that uh, would mean it has closed down when we got here a few days ago. <sighs> so that doesn't seem right. Okay, theory. Theory time. Theory time. They were put in some sort of hyperbolic sleep chamber for a year. Thus, they're missing a year's time. That's how they're doing it. Or at least that's how I think they're doing it. I mean, you're saying uh, it could have happened over a year ago, but before I got here, I looked up stuff online about the school. I never saw anything so about this. So, in other words, that must have been all a part of the mastermind's plan. They lured us all here. Someone could create a place to judge and execute people who could potentially be capable of anything. Hmm. Of course, that's assuming this letter is real. However, if it is real, then that does solve uh, one mystery surrounding the school. The reason there are no other students here could be because uh, the school had uh, already closed hmm. down. Huh. That would be nice. Simple solution. It's true. But then what about the other part? Decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control has made it necessary. But make no mistake, this is not the end of Host Peak Academy. We intend to reopen doors. So, okay. Didn't need to read all that. 
Uh, what do they mean by serious issues? That, uh, apparently, why the school had to close. Is there any connection between that and what's happening now? No. Yeah. And the two events are, the fact, in fact, connected. We're covering the connection between the useful clue on top of figuring out the mastermind's motive. Although I can't really say any more until we find more details. <laughs> In other words, the only mastermind knows the truth right now. Interesting. And all this shit could be piecemeal to us. Like, no, like we have no control of the situation. Like, all of this information is being given to us willingly, so... It's <sighs> Remarkably dusty here. Light is, uh, lighting is less than ideal for a library. It's not some kind of place I wouldn't want to do much reading in. Okay. He's talking about reading... Okay. Talk to you, nerd. Hey. I'm absolutely shocked. How come? Damnation. They have all the books here, not one copy of any of my works. <sighs> well, yeah, why would they have comics in a library? <laughs> Plus, most fanfic is just porn drawn by a bunch of amateurs. <laughs> all right. All right, Miss Literary Scholar over here. So your books are in here. It's, it, it is what it is. <laughs> I, do, uh, I do too get it. And with a face like yours, anyone can tell nothing you do is worthwhile. Why do you be coming for people's throats and you are the main one who up here looking like a bum? <laughs> Say whatever you want about me, but never judge a book by its author. You know nothing. Now here, this appearance means nothing at all. What you see before you is more than the rind of contains the meaty pulp of my genius. No. My creations are my, well, what determine my meaning and value. <laughs> You're so full of it. Mm -hmm. I used to be, I'm used to being misunderstood. Do you think weak attacks like yours will drop my HP? Yeah. Like he ain't really causing too much issue. He's just a nerd. But she's like bringing people down for like no reason. Uh, speaking of bringing people down for no reason, hmm. but this library is most interesting. What's interesting about Stop it? Talking. Oh, nothing. I was just thinking out loud. You gotta go, Bianca. You're a problem. What do you want? You must be pretty happy to have all these books, right? Uh, huh, Toko? <laughs> Not particularly. Nothing's really caught my attention so far. Mm -hmm. Indeed, there's a plethora of books. It's true, but the content seems lacking. No, nothing. Where's the comic books? Where's the young adult <laughs> section? Comic books, young adult. That stuff's a waste of time. Mm, mm, I've seen mm, what you write, Miss mm. Fukawa. Talented as you are, your stuff isn't any isn't any more worthwhile. <gasps> Get him! Get her! Get her! He feel me. He feel me. My stories are filled with true love and pure feelings. Don't compare them to your garbage of yours. Your writing doesn't even mean mean anything. It's just a bunch of jumbled up letters. Someone should just burn it all. <laughs> Oh, lady, do protest too much. Me thinks I bet you recently into a boy-on-boy -boy action. You, uh, I bet you're secretly into boy-on-boy -boy action. Boy-on-boy? <laughs> -boy? I don't care if it's an anime or comic book or fanfic or whatever. I'm it's all filth. You. Throw away culture. That'll be trashed and forgotten in half a decade. So five years. This game came out like 2008. Wrong. <laughs> I've never seen somebody so, or 2011, I've never seen somebody so wrong. I feel like I'm going to throw up. Like, she's the one to talk. Talk about all this Wattpad shit that's coming out. Like, uh, what, what is those movies called? Those Netflix movies. Fuck. The After Series. Oops. Based on, like, there's literally fucking Fifty Shades of Grey, which is a fan fiction of Twilight. Suck my cock. To, oh, well, I shouldn't be saying that to underage girls, but you get what I'm saying. Yeah, the two freaking out anyway. Door. What's behind this door? Some kind of archive. I saw there was a stack of books and old files. Can't imagine what business you would have in there. No! Go in the fucking door! There we go. The pool. I'm fucking stupid. Of course. Just a second. Owie is there. 
Uh, guess what? I found a pool. There's a pool here. A pool, 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 pool. All right, get it. We get it. There's a pool. Your personality is swimming pool. Uh, you don't have to keep repeating it. I got it. There's tons of ex exercise equipment here too. Sakura's going to go nuts when she sees it. Yeah, you're right about that. Hina seems uh, excited as usual. Oh yeah, we just call it Hina. All right, you. Uh, second floor has opened up and the living area has grown and a number of facilities are now available. Whatever else is going on, I must admit things have been made much more comfortable for us. Understand? If things continue like this, the occasional class trial may not be so bad. <laughs> Alright. You bugging. Bugging. She bugging. Bugging alert. Cutie, what's going on? Hey, Chihiro, have you checked out the pool? Uh, um... No, I don't like wearing swimsuits. Okay. Uh, you seem like the type to not be into that kind of thing. But, but it still sounds like the locker rooms here have all the exercise equipment you can ask for. Maybe I'll give it a try. I kind of like to get a little stronger. You want to get stronger? I have to say, that's kind of unexpected. Yeah. But I'm not even brave enough to step foot in the locker room. You could even... You don't even... You don't even want to go in the um, locker room? It's not I don't want to, it's just... Why are you crying all the time? Damn. I don't get it. Is she afraid of locker rooms or something? Pretty weird phobia. Boys. Behind this door is locker room. Yeah. Oh, and I guess you need your handbook to get into the locker rooms. Oh, okay. Really? Of course. Really, really? Oh. Ooh. Hmm. If you wanna unlock the locker room. You'll have to swipe your personal e-handbook. Uh -huh. However, to ensure maximum security with each locker room, only a boy's handbook can open the boy's locker room, and the same goes for the girls, and that's the bath bottom line. Um, what? But what if someone opens the door and then someone else sneaks in? Anyone who commits such indecency will be- Okay, pay attention to this. Something- Somebody's going to die in the locker room. Yep, there's a Gatling gun. That happened. Marakuma is like. Okay, ignore that. It was supposed to be something else. More like. That. Okay. Duga, duga, duga. <clears throat> I bet it really hurt to get shot by that thing. Mm. I think it'd be a little worse than that. Mm. Yeah, you'd be fucking meat. You'd be like mincemeat. Uh, but what happens if someone loans their handbook to someone else? A boy could borrow a girl handbook, and that would be get them into the lo girls' locker room, would it not? I would. Oh, that, that never even occurred to me to think someone else could uh, could be so low, so cowardly, so devilish. Uh, okay, then how does this sound? Time for a new rule. As this moment, loaning your e-book to another student is strictly prohibited. Okay, so there, there goes another clue. There's, uh, there's so now, there, so now nobody can give their handbook to anyone else, right? Uh, you like that? It's like genuine, right? It's because my brain is a hundred percent cotton. Honestly. Uh, I do not, uh, I do not. I All right. Uh, I do not imagine anyone uh, would have lent their handbook in the uh, out, their handbook in the first place. After all, uh, it would be likely held responsible for anyone that might that person might be using it. So, um... Anyway, <laughs> but you know, you seem awfully concerned with all this locker room security stuff. Of course, cause all you teenagers are sex crazed maniacs. You're at the age where you try humping a plastic bottle. How would that happen? Whose dick is small enough to get fit inside of a plastic bottle? In some circumference. I'm not dick shaming. I'm just saying. You have to have a pretty skinny, skinny penis. In that case, I would ask uh, that you keep the same uh, close eye on your dorms. 
if some man uh, and woman decided to share a room, there'd be nothing to stop them. Bro, are we cock blocking here? How are we supposed to procreate? <laughs> All I care about is protecting the holy image of the school itself. Yes. I don't care what happens in your private dorms by force or by cunning. Is he just, is he suggesting sexual assault? Just the worst. I hate you so much. See ya later. Okay, so new regulations are now in place. See ya. All right. Man, that stupid bear totally ruined my mood. Maybe I'll go dip, uh, take a dip to cheer myself you up. So let's cheer. Want to come with me? As for me, there's nothing I hate more than getting water on my face. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry. I'll pass this time. Uh. How come when you're in a funk, there's nothing better than a good swim to pull you out of it? I'm pretty sure that only applies to you. Anyway, uh, now I have a pretty good idea what's going on with the second floor. I don't see anything that, that might lead to any kind of exit. All I can do is help someone else find something worthwhile. Gotta go back to the dining hall. Listen to me. Wait a little bump. Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, how I forgot that's like R. Kelly. Never mind. Let me stop uh, doing that. Ladies and gentlemen, how did it go? Did anyone else discover anything interesting or new? Yes, indeed. There's a library okay. and a pool, a freaking pool, and a locker room filled with exercise equipment. It was not, there was not, however, anything resembling an escape. She's right. I see. Well, hey, there's no reason to get sulky. Wait till you hear about my amazing Quiet discovery. The warehouse and the bathhouse on the first floor of the dorms are now open. You hear me? And the warehouse is chock full of food, clothes, and whatever you want. There's so much, it's insane. <laughs> Go ahead and stuff yourselves on the grill, on the on the gills whenever you feel like. <laughs> Are you okay with this? Keep in mind, of course, that there's going to be uh, that going out at nighttime is prohibited. Please do not forget. Yo. Okay, what about uh, what about fucking way out of here? You find anything like that? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, um. Why? What? There isn't anything in the warehouse we could use to get our asses out of here. Nothing. Unfortunately, no. That uh, none that I uh, know that hey, I saw. Come on. You fucking people. I know you talk about with your delicious corn on the cob head. What? Who'd give a shit if uh if we have a goddamn pool now or a warehouse or whatever the fuck? Stop fucking around. We're still trapped at this piece of shit school. We need to find a goddamn way out. There's no point. There's no point in taking your anger out on us. Adaptation is key. Yes, for now we must find each other's way to enjoy our current situation. You piece of whatever you say, you fucking loon. <laughs> for now, let's just continue our investigation and let everyone know if uh, if you should discover something. So then, are we done for today? Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess so. Okay, the air suddenly seemed to grow heavy again. Uh, was the ma master plan? Was this the mastermind's plan to give us hope just to turn around and betray us? Uh, Biakio. Bing bong. All right. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. Oh, time to beat my meat to go As to sleep. Such, it is officially nighttime. Okay. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Prohibited. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug. Shut up. We all missed. Uh, we all promised not to leave our rooms during nighttime. Then go to bed. Go to bed. Hey, time for Monokuma Theater. Hey, Mr. Monokuma, Mr. Monokuma, do you have a second? I don't really like myself. I don't have any kind of skill or hobby I can say I'm super good at. And my grades are totally average, too. My reflexes are okay, not great, not awful. I could get into a decent college where I'd make a few friends, maybe even a normal girlfriend, which is exactly why I don't like who I am. What is he? Is he throwing shots at me? That sounds 
being average is like good. I, I understand now. My life is just one giant copy paste. I don't have any I imagination. I'm a perfectly average cardboard cutout. You see what I mean, right, Mr. Monokuma? Bro, shoot shots fired, bro. Monokuma can get these hands. Bing bong. Hey, bing bong. <laughs> Yeah.